The good habits that contributed to my success are being proactive and taking responsibility for my life, using the language that includes I can, I will. I also know how crucial it can be to exchange ideas with others through networking. I value collaboration and teamwork. When times get tough, I prioritize and achieve the most important goals instead of constantly reacting to urgencies. The actuarial profession was contributed a lot in breaking gender bias. In many countries, including Armenia, the majority of actuaries are females and they are valued as professionals having recognition from the government and industry overall. The actuarial profession proved that it is beyond the geographical borders, nationalities, gender, even time. And the only thing uh, that is matter is professionalism. Hi everyone, I am Leticia Doeri, the current president of Brazilian Actuary Institute. Let's talk a little about the letter S of the acronym ESG, Environmental, Social and Governance. Although today it's possible to find several women in leadership positions, on this International Women's Day, I would like to honor women with disabilities, black women and poor women, as all of them continue to suffer discrimination. It's very good to have a special date to reflect and to remember that this topic needs a captive share at events, lectures, meetings, talk shows for as long as necessary. Then, one day, the women of the future will no longer have to worry about it. Thank you, God, for the strong women that you, Lord, put in my life. They inspire me every single day. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Friedland, president of the Canadian Institute of Actuaries, and I have 30 seconds to address three questions. Fortunately for me, the first two questions have mostly the same answers. Many of the good habits that have contributed to my success are also what keeps me going when times get tough. One of the most important good habits for me is making meaningful connections with people, colleagues I work with and colleagues I volunteer with. And with that, I want to do a call out to all my actuarial women's book club members in Toronto. Next is regular exercise of a wide variety of activities. If I can work up a sweat and get my heart going, I love it. These activities help me clear my mind. It's time just for me. It's not only good for my physical health, it's essential for my mental health. Finally, how can our profession contribute to breaking gender bias? Call things out. If there are no women on a panel, call it out. If there are no women in leadership roles, call it out. If women aren't being asked for their opinions, call it out. Don't be silent, call it out. Good evening, everybody. My name is Simone Brathwaite. I'm president of the Caribbean Actuary Association. I'm a fellow of the Society of Actuaries and fellow of the Canadian Institute of Actuaries. The first question we're gonna be answering is what has kept me going when times get tough? Um, that's changed over time. I would say that after having dusted myself off quite a few times, that what I do have now is perspective. I know that it will pass. So I try to focus on the immediate next step. And each time around, I try to do it with a little bit more grace. Also, if I do lose perspective, and there are times when that happens, I do have a broader team to, to check in with. My support team would be my friends, my colleagues, um, and my family. And, and they offer me, you know, those words of wisdom as well. And lastly, of course, you know, practically speaking, a mortgage and children are very motivating. But I would say that even if I didn't have that, that right now where I'm at, when times get tough, I do try to find purpose and try to find ways that I can see the, the greater good, how I can help people in particular. So, for example, with this added volunteer role of President of the Caribbean Natural Association, my focus has primarily been on helping others and promoting others. Thank you. The second question I'm going to ask is what good habits I think contributed to my success. Um, again, I think that's changed over time. And right now, for me, a good night's rest and exercise is essential for me to be able to maintain my focus throughout the day. Thank you. The third question is, what do I think the actual profession can do to contribute to breaking the gender bias? 
Well, I think this activity of celebrating International Women's Day throughout the month of March is excellent. I also think that throughout the year we could showcase um, the excellence and the achievements of women in the various actual societies globally. Thank you. Greetings from Cyprus and from the Cyprus Actuarial Association. Being the mother of four children and the general manager of one of the leading insurance companies in Cyprus hasn't been an easy task. Hard work, determination and never giving up were the three qualities that contributed to my success. And what keeps me going when things get tough? Positive thinking and believing in myself. And my motto, only if you try the impossible, you will achieve the inachievable. I must admit that during my lifetime as an actuary, both in Cyprus and in the UK, I haven't been faced with the issue of gender discrimination. However, each one of us in the actual profession can take the necessary steps to help women in this situation and eliminate the problem where it exists. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jette. I love the quote from PP saying, I've never tried it before, so I can definitely do it. When I work, I always try to have fun, try to do things smarter, being curious, ambitious and persistent. I've always been a hard worker, not because someone told me to, but because I couldn't help it with the interesting tasks. When things get tough, I use my positive mindset and the experience from doing sport. I think we as an actual society can help by being role models, by being mentors, helping them believe in themselves. Like, I was lucky to have a boss who believed in me when I was young. Dear colleagues, my name is Baiba Morchana and I'm a president of Latvian Actuarial Association. I work as an actuary already 17 years and I really like actuary profession. From my point of view, the actuary work is dynamic and creative, at the same time very responsible and important. When times get tough, I like to prepare a list of tasks prioritize them and start to do one by one. It helps free your head from the little things you need to keep in mind and focus on the most important tasks. As our profession is strongly associated with logical thinking, with mathematics and statistics, both men and women can study these subjects. Consequently, both sexes are equal. For example, 64% of our, all, all our association members are women. So the most important is professional knowledge in our profession. Have a nice International Women's Day. Hello, my name is Carmen Forster and I'm the president of the Society of Actuaries of Namibia. Discipline, perseverance and a positive attitude have contributed to my success. When times are tough, I turn to the Bible, prayer, my family and friends for encouragement, support and inspiration. We need to respect each other, realising that even although we are all equal in the eyes of our Creator, we each have the potential to make a unique and valuable contribution to our profession. My name is Yesede Kazim. I'm the first female president of the Nigerian Actuarial Society. I'm proud to have led over the last four years the revival of the profession in Nigeria, the most populous black nation. My success has been defined by the people I surround myself with. From the friends who helped me through my professional exams to the people who work with me in my corporate life, helping me to reach numerous milestones. When times are tough, I pause and remember that I managed to qualify as an actuary, and that seems to make everything else seem definitely possible. Encouraging and mentoring women coming up in the profession is one of my passions, and I would love to see more gender diversity in the actuarial field. The success came by trying and failing. The world is changing, some keep learning and developing every day. I keep trying turning problems into opportunities. When the time gets tough, I'm just stopping and looking around where I'm standing and where and why I have started. This is the fire need to pull me out. Actually, it's a gender-blind profession, but subconsciously people are still re relating men with leadership positions. I'm looking forward for the days 
when the gender bias will not be even a topic. Happy Women is International Day! Good afternoon everyone, my name is Mila Kitevi. I'm the first president of the actual association that has been created in December 2020. And I have the privilege to organize the third actual congress in March 2015. And we have been affiliated to the International Association of Actuary in October 2015. Three habits that I have that contribute to my success. The determination, the hard work, and the belief on my success. In time, who gets tools, positive mind, learn from my errors, and bring solution to the problem. Actuary contribute to the gender bias. In Africa, it's a little bit difficult because African women need to conciliate family life and actual profession. But good news, we have new technology such as intelligent artificial or big data can help them to move forward serenely and reconciliate the both. So for young people, I just want to say that actual is the part of profession of future because it helps production rates and calculating the price of each of the risk. Thank you, goodbye. Hi, my name is Mildred Areta, president of the Actuarial Association of Uganda. A brief about a small association. The Actuarial Association of Uganda started in uh, 2007 with about approximately 10 members. We have grown um, to date to a little over 100 active members. It's been slow growth. However, our members in Uganda are excited, young, dynamic, are looking forward to uh, continuing to pursue their qualifications um, amidst a, a challenging actuarial landscape in the country where there's little or almost no support in some areas for students to qualify. good habits have contributed to my personal success. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say my leadership of the Actuarial Association is a success because it is still ongoing and there's a lot more that we need to do. Um, there's a lot more that we need to do for the country. There's a lot more that we need to do for the students. However, the two things that I think have contributed to where we are now is one, my genuine interest in the actuarial profession. I love the actuarial profession and I have been determined to, to grow in my personal growth, uh, to try to continue to see the exams no matter how long it takes me. Um, I really am passionate about actuarial work and I try to push the students that I interact with, those that I work with, those that are placed in different employers, even the students at the university, there's events that happen at our main university. We have the Actuarial Science Bachelor's Program in one university in Kampala, that's Makere University. Now and again, we have events um, at the university and I do try to make time to attend a few of them. So just a genuine passion and interest in the Actuarial profession is actually what drives me and what has contributed to where we are today. The second uh, reason that I could say has contributed to our success, I like to say our because it's more than just me as a leader of the Actuarial Association, is a supportive committee. I have a supportive committee actually, um, a, good, a good supportive committee that has changed over the years. Um, I was previously the vice president for a little over nine years and I've been president for two years. And the committee has changed over these years and will continue to change um, as we would like to inc include younger members in the leadership of the association over time. So just having supportive team members is great and helps an association grow. What keeps me going when times get tough um, It's one thing. It's just my passion for the actuarial profession. 
it's just my my genuine passion for the actuarial profession just pushes me to participate in association activities even when i have personal clashes with my own private calendar even when i'd rather be doing something else uh, sometimes i honestly just want to do something else with my time um but i get pulled back um by the passion that i have for the actuarial profession In order to address gender bias in the actuarial profession in Uganda, there are two things um, that come to mind. One, uh, we're lacking in diversity programs in the country um, to support uh, female actuarial students to qualify at the stage where students are still studying. There should be some support, um, especially for female candidates who, especially in our African market, tend to drop out faster than the male counterparts over time due to family obligations um, that come up in their adult life. Two, another way that we can um, break gender bias is to encourage employers to add diversity as a criteria when selecting candidates for actuarial roles. I think this is one area that is not as developed in the African market. And in Uganda, um, employers um, do not necessarily have diversity programs, do not necessarily consider diversity of their workforce before they actually hire new candidates. I look forward to guiding more, more leaders um, to also get engaged in driving the association agenda, um, in attending international events, in networking, and in doing more for the actuarial profession at large.